Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. This is going to be a very quick tutorial because we're just going to do a very simple RGB effect, a very easy, simple way. So you can apply this for pretty much whatever. I think this is the safe way to do a nice RGB glitch effect and it's going to be a lot of fun. So since it's going to be quick, let's just jump into it and let's get started. So off the bat, we just have our, say our animation, it can be whatever you want. So I have my logo and just some text, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters in this video is doing the RGB effect. So when you have all your animation done and you're ready to apply this effect, make sure everything is in its own composition. So like here, the logo and text in its own composition. So here's our placeholder and our main comp. And when you're done, go up to effect channel and grab set channels. So from here, you have three parameters that you have to focus on. You have red, green, and blue that are set. All you have to do for the green one is click on it, set it to off. Go to the blue, click on it, and set it to off. Now you just have red. So now we'll want to go to edit, duplicate, and we'll duplicate the layer. We'll go to the bottom layer here. We'll set the red to off. We'll go to where green used to be, and we'll set this to green, and we'll duplicate it once more. Go to the bottom layer, set the green to off, and go to the blue, and let's set this to blue. So now you have three different layers, RGB, if you will. And all we have to do here is apply the actual glitch effect. So, so what we'll do is we'll grab the middle layer here and we'll hit P on keyboard for position and we'll alt click the stopwatch and we'll type in wiggle, open parenthesis, two comma five, close parenthesis. And we'll click off this. And now you have a very basic glitch effect. However, you probably want to keep the top layer the same color or at least white. So what we can do is grab all of our placeholders here, all of our layers, toggle switches and modes until you see the blend modes and set it to screen. Now we scrub through this real quick. So now you have a very simple glitch effect here and it looks very nice, very clean. Now if you want to change the intensity of this, go back to your wiggle expression and you can make this a little bit quicker. So the first number is the amount of glitches per second and the second number is the intensity. So you can come over here and you can change this to, hey, we want more glitches per second, so we'll set this to four, and we want the intensity to be greater, so we can set this up to 20. So now, the glitch is way more intense, and it's really up to you how you want to have that set. I prefer subtle with this method. So I think you know this looks just fine with this nice subtle method. And if we wanted to sort this composition a little bit more, you've, if you have a nice gradient background like this, I'm using gradient ramp with a very smooth gradient, we, we can even take the start of ramp and we can type in that wiggle expression. 4 comma 400, close parenthesis, and you'll get this nice wiggle on the uh, top color here. So that's really interesting to play with. And then also we can create a new adjustment layer by going to layer, new adjustment layer. We go to effect, noise and grain, and we can add noise. And we'll turn up the amount of noise up uh, a little bit. And we can take off the use color noise. So it makes it monochromatic. And now you have a little bit of grain into this glitch, which looks really cool. And this is what we have with our basic After Effects elements and a very nice, cool way to create a cool glitch scene within a couple of seconds with the built-in tools inside of After Effects. Make sure you always turn on Motion Blur, turn it off the top. So this concludes our built-in After Effects tools, but let's say you want to take this to the next level. Go ahead and check our links in the description. There's this plugin called Animation Studio called Montage Library, and it comes with over 750 pre-made effects. And in here, there's a library called Chromatic. And what I can do with this montage library, and I have a full review on it, check our links in the description. So what I can do is preview all of these glitches that are inside of this pack. And when I find one that I like, I can just simply apply it and it automatically applies the entire distortion glitch to our main composition within a second. And we can click on it and we can always change some of the settings in here. So if we don't like the sharpness, we can always turn those off and we'll go back into our main comp and it automatically updates. So this is a cool pack to add chromatic distortion effects within a couple seconds along with hundreds of other effects that will help you in your other projects. And of course if you want to take your glitch effect to the next level and look in the safe time go ahead and check our link description for our favorite glitch effect logos that can help you find the inspiration you need or even help you save time on these amazing glitch logos. The logo glitches you're seeing right now are all linked in the description. These are all professionally made, meaning that you can swap out your text or drag in your logo and you can render this and be done within five minutes. That's exactly what an After Effects template is for, but of course, I would suggest just go ahead and check it out and looking for inspiration to help you figure out what you need to create. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick After Effects tutorial and able to learn something really quick. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like. And if you're not subscribed to our channel already, be sure to subscribe to it because we post two to three After Effects videos every single week. Also, hit us up on our social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video. And always be creating.